Hi everybody, today we're going to look at more Navis works and in this training exercise we're going to look at our quantification so we can do takeoff, uh, things like uh, estimating and those different type of things. So we're in our model here. We can only use this in Navis Works of Magic. <clears throat> so this is our, our, our training file, the warehouse we've been working on. So now the first thing we want to do here, we want to go into our quantification tab and click it. Now this is our sheet browser. We don't need that now, so we'll just close that. And go back down into the lower right and bring up our sheet browser, bring up our quantification notebook or quantification workbook. This is the main workspace that uh, holds the data for creating projects and um, estimates. So let's select this project setup. Now this is this is a the quantification setup wizard here, and uh, the setup catalog. So here we have these different selections. We can even browse to a catalog that we previously created. But for here we have other options: CSI 1648 and Uniformat. But for in our exercise, for this one, we're going to just select none. And then we'll select next here. And we'll use our uh, imperial units, or you can use metric if you're using metric. And then we'll click next. Now right here are all of our units. So we want to keep these all selected. And then we'll click next again. And then once we do that, we'll select finish. Okay. Now, from that point on, we'll go into our selection tree. And let's just uh, let's collapse all these. So we'll select our project here. And then we'll right click. And we'll go down to where it says quantification. And here we have um, take off new catalog item. And then we'll just select take off new catalog item. So that'll run and do its thing. It's, it's, it's keep generating all the data we have. And there you have it. So there's our, our all of our items here. Just click here. There we go. So now are all of our items, and we can select, say, basic walls. And there are all of our walls the length, the width, the thickness, and the height of each wall. So we can go down and look at um, casework here. There's all of our duplexes. So every all of the families that we created within this model are basically here. So you can select them and and let's look at bearing footing. There are all of our bearing footings. There's the length and the width of each one, if you can remember. So now Here's our junction boxes. So this is basically everything in our model now. So any project we use, we can do this. So let me just click out of here one time. So let's go now and we want to uh, export this out to a program for estimating. So we'll just come over here to our import export catalogs quantities and export quantities. So we'll just pull this down and say we can go and ex import catalog, we can export XML or export quantities to Excel. So let's go with Excel. We want to export this quantification. So we'll save this, uh, put this on my desktop, or you can place this in your regular project folders, whatever you're using. I want to just say two because I got one here. So I'm going to go save. 
And now what's happening now is generating all those quantities for the entire project. Okay. This should take a minute, a few seconds. And then it wants to ask me to want to open our exporting file. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to probably have to say, I didn't update this. And so there's all of our, I'm sorry, shut that down. So there's all of our quantities. Everything, there's all of our rebar. We use number four. There's everything in this project. Now these uh, can be integrated into software uh, programs as far as estimating. There's everything. And then we can look at raw sources here. We can look at items raw, and these are all items in our project. So, this is basically a, uh, here are our groups. So, there's it. There you go. There you go, folks. That's how you use the quantity notebook. There's all of our chairs. I mean, it breaks it down really well. Our desk, everything. So, hey, uh, just wanted to show you this, how to use the quantity, uh, quantification workbook in Revit, in Navisworks. So, hey, thank you for watching this video, and uh, we'll move on to other things. So, have a good day, and see you next training session. Bye.